Today I'm going to show you some very useful Windows shortcuts that you might not be using. There are many shortcuts out there, but I'm going to show you 25 very useful ones that can be used every day. So let's get started. Number one, see in the desktop. We've all had times when we've had lots of windows open, but we want to get back to the desktop screen. Instead of minimizing each window individually, use Windows plus D. This will instantly show you the desktop. If you want to, you can do the same again, Windows plus D, to bring back all the windows as they were. If you just want to peek at the desktop, press the Windows key plus comma. But let's suppose you want to minimize all windows except the one you're currently using. You can left click and hold the top of the window that you want left open, shake it, and all the other windows will be minimized. And if you shake the window again, they will all come back as they were before. Number two, cycling through open windows. If you press and hold the Alt key, then tap the Tab key, all of your open windows will be shown. You can then use the arrow keys on your keyboard to select the window that you want to be shown on top. It's much easier going through your open programs in this way to get to the program you want to use next. Number three, windows side by side. To put two windows side by side, click on a window, then use the Windows key plus the left arrow key. This will move the window to the left of the screen and will show all other open windows on the right. Then click on another window to open it on the right side of the screen. This can be really useful when you want two windows opened at once, with both windows being as large as possible on your display. Number four, lock in the computer. I'm sure there's times when you want to walk away from your computer, but you don't want anyone else using it whilst you're gone. For this, you can simply use the Windows key plus L. This will activate the lock screen. Now, the only way anyone can use your computer is to enter the computer's password or passcode or whatever it is you normally use to get into your computer. Number five, showing your screen on another device. If you want to have your screen shown on another device, such as a TV for example, a quick way to do this is to use the Windows key plus the letter P. Any screen that's attached to your computer with a cable will then show up on the right side of the screen. As you can see, you can now choose which display you want your computer screen shown on. You can also duplicate your screen or extend your screen instead. Another way to do this is to use Windows plus K this will allow you to show your screen on another device wirelessly if your devices are supported. Number six, pinning programs to the taskbar. You probably have certain programs that you use on a regular basis. If you do, you can easily pin them to the taskbar by right clicking on a program and selecting pin to the taskbar. Then the next time you want to open that program, just simply click on it. If ever you want to remove an icon from the taskbar, right click on it and select unpin from taskbar. Number seven, taking a screenshot. To take a screenshot, the shortcut is the Windows key plus print screen. So I've just taken one now, and this will end up in the screenshots folder, which can be found by clicking on the file explorer icon, then this PC, pictures, screenshots. Let's click on it and take a look. And here's the screenshot we've just taken. If you want to take a shot of just part of the screen, it's Windows, Shift and S. Then using the mouse, just left click and hold, drag the mouse, then let go of the left mouse button. Now click here, and you can then save your new screenshot. Number eight, help menus. Most programs have a help menu. The shortcut for this is the F1 key. So for example, in a photo editor, click on the F1 key and there's a help menu. In Microsoft Office, hit the F1 key and there's the help menu. So if you need help using any of your programs, hit the F1 key, then search for what you need help with. Number nine, zoom in, in and out. To zoom in or out of a window, press and hold the control key on your keyboard, then push your mouse scroll wheel up to zoom in 
or down to zoom out. This will change the size of the text and images in a web browser, documents, image viewers and so on. You can even change the size of file and folder icons using this shortcut. OK, so tips number 10 and 11 are quite well known, but I wanted to include them just in case you don't know them, as they are very useful shortcuts. OK, back to it. Tip number 10, selecting everything at once. Control plus A will select everything within a window. This shortcut can select all the writing in a Word document, or all text and images on a web page, all the icons on the desktop, all the folders and files in a window, and so on. Doing this makes it really easy to copy things over from one window to another. Number 11, printing. Control plus P will print out whatever you're currently doing, or will at least bring up the print options window. For example, if you're viewing a photo, Control plus P will print out that photo or bring up the print options. And if you're writing a document, Control plus P will print out that document or bring up the print window. If you do a fair bit of printing, this is a good shortcut to know. OK, so now let's take a look at some of the useful browser shortcuts. Number 12, open in a new tab. The shortcut to open a new tab in a web browser is Control plus T. If you want to close the current tab, press Control and W. These are useful shortcuts for those that open new tabs quite often. Tip number 13, reopening the last closed tab. So let's close this middle tab here. Now let's suppose we wanted that tab open after all, but we've just accidentally closed it. To reopen the last closed tab, it's Control, Shift and T. Notice that it reopens the tab and it brings back the website we were just on as well. Number 14, moving back to the previous web page. There are many times when you've selected a web page to look at and then you want to go back to the previous page again. The shortcut for this is Alt plus left arrow key. If you want to go forward a page instead, the shortcut for that is Alt plus the right arrow key. Number 15, open in your browser history. To quickly see your browsing history, use Control plus H. If you'd like to also clear your browsing history, press Control, Shift and Delete. You will then see some options. The options will vary depending on which browser you're using, but taking Chrome as an example here, choose the browsing history you'd like removed, for example, the last hour, then click on Clear Data. Number 16, moving around a web page. When you're looking at a long web page, it's easy to search through it by pressing the space bar, as this will take you down one page at a time. Pressing Shift and the space bar will take you back up a page. If you want to go straight to the bottom of the page, press the End key. And if you want to go to the start, press the Home key. Number 17, refreshing a web page. If you're on a website and you know the information on that site has been updated since you last loaded the page, just press the F5 key. This will reload the page and will show you any updates that have been made. If you want to do a force refresh, press Ctrl and F5. Doing this will clear the cache memory and then refresh the page. The next two shortcuts are great for emails and Microsoft Office users, but they can be used for other programs as well. OK, so tip number 18, emojis and symbols. Anytime you want an emoji or a symbol, press Windows plus semicolon. They're all categorised at the bottom and the top of this box. These can be used in Microsoft Office document, emails and just about anywhere else where special characters can be used. Number 19, finding a word or phrase. If you want to find a word or phrase that's somewhere in a Microsoft Office document, press Ctrl and F, type in the search box the word or phrase you're looking for, and that word or phrase will be highlighted in the text document every time it appears. This makes it easy to find what you're looking for. 
By the way, the same shortcut can be used on any website or email to find a word or phrase you're looking for. Number 20. Open in a virtual desktop. Using a virtual desktop will give you a second desktop screen. So for example, you might have all your work programs and folders open on one, and all your personal things open on another. The shortcut to open in a virtual desktop is Control, Windows and D. To switch between the two desktops, it's Control, Windows and left or right arrow key. And to close the virtual desktop, press Control, Windows and the F4 key. By the way, you can open many virtual desktops if you want to. You're not just limited to two. Now a few YouTube shortcuts. Number 21. Skipping a video backwards or forwards. On your keyboard, notice that the J, K and L keys are all right next to each other. Pressing the letter J will go back in the video by 10 seconds, K will pause the video and L will go forward 10 seconds. If you want to move around the video a bit more precisely, the left arrow key will move the video back by 5 seconds and the right arrow key will go forward by 5 seconds. Number 22. Subtitles. To see subtitles with the video, press the letter C on your keyboard. If you want to make the subtitles bigger, press the plus key, and to make them smaller, press the minus key. Number 23. Changing the video size. You can change the video view to theatre mode by pressing the letter T. Press the letter T again to go back to the default view. Or you can change the video view to full screen by pressing the letter F. And press it again to go back to default mode. Number 24. Mute in the video. Just a quick tip here. Any time you want to mute a YouTube video, just press the letter M. And the last one, tip number 25. How to close your windows quickly and shut down. Whichever window is currently active can be closed by pressing and holding the Alt key and pressing F4. The next window in line can also be closed by using the same shortcut. When you finish using your computer, keep pressing Alt and F4 until you see this window, then press Enter to shut down your computer. That's the quick way of closing all windows and shutting down. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.